Hi everyone. Uh, in this video, we would learn multiple response analysis. Number of research scholars, they had asked me, ma'am, how we have to handle problem of multiple response analysis. Multiple response analysis uh, means we are talking about when we had asked one question and there is the dichotomous answer, yes and no. And there is more number of answers are required. Let's say I have taken in this case study, there is 20 users who asked brand preference of their four-wheeler selection. I mean, what kind of, uh, there are four brands I had offered them and uh, which brand you prefer, yes or no, either you prefer or not, right? So I had given them two options, yes or no. So how we have to handle, if let's say one respondent had given all three Kia, Volkswagen and Hyundai, all three answers he had given yes and only Tata Motors he had given no, right? So how we have to handle such kind of responses in SPSS file? So let me share with you one of my SPSS file and you can see here, these are my variables I have taken. Let me remove these variables because I don't require all these variables now. I'm clearing all these three variables. And uh, let me clear all these three variables, right? So here is, you can see Kia, Tata, Volkswagen, Hyundai, and gender also I had incorporated. And what I did, you can see here values I had given, zero means no, and one means yes. That means a respondent, he prefer this particular brand. Zero means no, not, no, not preferred. So same way I had given to each and every all four options, no and yes, zero for no and one for yes. And gender I had defined here is one equal to male and two equal to female. I had uh, already given this categorical variable to numbers. So what I will do now, you can see this is the 20 variable, 20 respondents uh, had given responses against these four variables. So now what we have to do, first of all, let me, I would like to see what is the percentage. So descriptive statistic, I will go to frequency and uh, Again, reset is here, right? So I will transfer one more problem is here. Let me correct it. Variable view that would be only on the nominal or ordinal scale. That should not be on the metric because this is not the metric number. This is just a number we have assigned. And for gender also, we have just assigned a male uh, one number one and for female only two. Right, so what we have to do, let me go here, analyze, and after the descriptive statistics and frequency, and let me transfer all these four brands, let me select all these four brands towards right side, and statistics, what we have to do, I nothing I have to click only simple I have to press yes okay so you can see here what is the output output you can see Kia, Tata, Volkswagen and Hyundai all these values all these frequencies are reflecting here right this one is the 20 total responses right out of this 35 cumulative percentage here is 50 here is 60 and 40 but that is not the correct way i don't want to see in that way so what i want i want to see these multiple responses right in as a one variable so what i will do i will define all these variables in a one set so what i will do let me transfer all these variables all these brands towards the right side in a variable set and counted value only one that means i prefer those respondents had given one means yes their response only that would be counted and uh, here is let's say i am giving here four wheeler I'm giving this, uh, this name is four wheeler, four wheeler preference, four wheeler only and label I can give preference, preference. 
So what I will do after that, I will add here. So the moment I had add here, you can see here is the four wheeler new one multiple response that is created. That is including all four kinds of brands. So let me close this. And after that, what I will do, I want to analyze. Again, I have to go to here multiple response and frequencies. And uh, then I will transfer this data set towards the right side and I will press OK. Now you can see it is much better. Let me copy this and let me paste on my Word document and let me uh, paste on my Word document, right? I have pasted here, right? And now you can see 70, that is a much more, uh, much more uh, analytical presentation over here. 72% by, uh, preferred by uh, preferred uh, responses towards the Kia and uh, towards the Tata, 55.6%, Volkswagen, 44.4%, and Hyundai, 66.7%. So that means most preferred car is Kia car is Kia, then second preferred is Hyundai, third one is Tata and fourth one is Volkswagen, right? So now what I want to see, let me, I want to check all these variable I can see here, you can see, I mean, total number of the response, Achha, why it has taken only 18 responses? That is also a bigger uh, question. Why? Because here is you can see in our data set i will explain you here is in one or two columns there is zero zero response right in this column 13 number of respondent had not marked any single brand all are zero so i mean in data analysis it has ignored right it has been ignored and another one is i think one more one more respondents that has been ignored. So that is why it is showing only 80. So we will identify this thing also. We will um, keep in mind, I mean, uh, whether respondents have not given any response. So these kind of values we should ignore. Now, now what we have to do, let me cross check all these things on the basis of their gender, right? Uh, multiple response, cross step. I will select cross step. And what I will do, this four-wheeler must be on row. And uh, this gender, let me define these ranges also because I had given one as minimum for male, two for female. So let me continue. And options is, okay, fine. I need gender on, uh, I mean, uh, as column. So let me continue. Let's press okay. Now you can see, let me copy this. I think there would be more bigger size would be in the word as word document. So I'm just copying this. So now you can see here, gender wise analysis. This is the cross tab analysis. And now you can see gender wise proper Kia 50% is preferred by male right and 100% all female they prefer this uh, particular brand right 100% and if we talk about Tata 60% by male and 50% by female and Volkswagen 50% by male and 37.5% by female and Hyundai 70% by male and 62% by female so that is also multiple response uh, kind of uh, questions we can handle it and how we have to define in the form of the graph, right? So graph, what we have to chart builder, right? And we, I want to see a bar chart, but preferences, yes, of course, preferences, but how you have to create these preferences. Let me show you, uh, first of all, how you have to follow this step. You have to go to data. And here is define multiple response set. And what you have to do, again, you have to repeat the same process here. Otherwise, it will not reflect there. So let me transfer all these things towards the variable in set. Counted value, that would be one because we preferred only one number who had given. And same set name, let's say I'm giving here only four, right? Four and uh, preference, I'm giving only P R E F, right? So, and after that, I'm just adding this thing. I'm just deleting this. This one is, I want to remove this, right? So you can see four. 
right and new uh, one of the set multiple response set i had created and let me press okay and after that what will happen i'm pressing graph and then chart builder and then i have to press okay and now you can see preference four that is new variable is defined here and now i would select this particular um, this particular uh, bar chart only and here is on the x axis i would like to put this particular variable so i had dragged and here is rather than count i need percentage right so let me apply this percentage and let me press okay so now you can see this is the beautiful histogram is already prepared and now you can copy this and you can paste in your word document and you can represent here you can see here preferences on the x axis and percentage on the y axis so now you can see 30% people they prefer kia now the second most preferred brand is hyundai and the third most preferred brand is tata and last one is the volkswagen so i'm sure this video would be helpful to you and you can handle your multi response questionnaire and you can go for analysis thank you keep watching